This morning, Yubi Long visited the Documentation Center of Cambodia, which was established in 1997 in the United States, but today is a local organization in Cambodia, and it seeks to address memory uh, of genocide and honor its victims while also trying to achieve justice for its survivors. Uh, this visit at DC Cam was uh, completely inspirational for me, um, just to see the type of work that is being done and and really seeing people who are who are truly striving to achieve justice and to create a memory of, of Cambodia that that allows it to move into the future and not necessarily dwell on the past, but to incorporate it into the understanding of its history so that there can be a brighter future. And so I, I guess I came away from this experience being very positive and knowing that there are so many people who are very dedicated to moving this process along. Day three of the Ubalong Genocide in Perspective Expedition. We started off at DC Cambodia this morning. We moved directly to the UN for a meeting with the resident coordinator, the highest ranking UN official on the ground here in Cambodia for a very rare meeting, very informative. Uh, interesting, uh, provocative discussion. Uh, currently, all the expedition members are blogging, taking pictures, blogging video about the day's events. And tonight, we have much more coming. We're meeting with one of the highest ranking opposition uh, party leaders in this, in this country. And she's willing to give us some of her time for Q&A tonight, just to add even more depth to the week. I love the name You Belong, because I think for all of us, we belong. We have to belong. That is the point about being working for something that you want to be part of. And empowerment is about making people belong. And tonight I share with, with uh, young people who have the best education, the best of the best, but they came to Cambodia to know more about what it means to build together, to build, rebuild a nation. And I had this opportunity to tell the story and that I got a lot of attention and that is part of hope. And hope is about knowing that you will have a choice.